I trained abroad to cook, had my own restaurant, and it thrived. I was making a job out of what I love. I'm Toma Araiwa, 28 years old. I'm unemployed now. Hello? You don't answer the phone at 11 a.m. with one call. Oh, mother, don't call from a payphone. If I call you from my phone, you'll ignore me. Did you get a job? You're talking about that again? That's good. I've got some money saved up. I'm still young. You'll be an old man soon if you keep talking like that. Your father looked like a model when he was young. Now he's bald. My creative Japanese restaurant went out of business easily. Yes? What is it? It's good, but... Western-style Japanese food is a little bit... <laughs> this Japanese food is not good enough. I can't eat it. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Eating this fake food... <laughs> Complaining about the food is fine, but we don't tolerate rudeness to other customers. Oh, no. Are you sure? No charge. Take that! High Coarse Salt! This customer was a foodie influencer, and the restaurant was heavily criticized on social media, along with my vigorous sprinkling of salt. The restaurant went out of business as a result of the buzz of my funny picture, rather than the taste of the food. So, where did you get your new job? What? I'm not looking for a new job. What are you doing, you Sai Baba? Who's the Sai Baba? Don't add salt to the salt trauma? Yeah, yeah, I'll look for a job. See you later. Eat a restaurant? That's a funny name. Let's get something to eat. Welcome! Please, take any seat available. There's only available seats. Oh, uh, it's just a coincidence that there are no customers here. It's delicious. It's really good. We do our best. You can drink all the water you want. Don't leave! I'm hungry. What do you recommend? A recommendation? Why are you tilting your head? You're cute. I'll have the pork ginger set, please. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Bon appetit. Um, are you... Are you a reporter for a magazine or something? What? No, I'm not. Oh, please. In plain clothes at this time of day? You must be a secret journalist. I know it. Sorry. I'm an incognito unemployed guy. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Really? <sighs> I was expecting a miraculous revival based on an article about the restaurant with a beautiful owner. Is business bad? This is Akine Ida. She's 28 years old, the same age as me. She calls herself beautiful, but she's rather cute. Her smile is especially cute. This restaurant has been running since my father's generation, but he got hospitalized so I took over two years ago. But the number of customers is decreasing little by little. Do you know why? Can I tell you? Oh, please! The food's not that good. Oh, no, 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 it's not bad! I just thought if I'm paying the same amount of money, I'd rather eat something different. It's not bad! Er, Mr. Unemployed hits me right where it hurts, sir. But the atmosphere of the restaurant is nice. It's old but well-maintained. I can tell you're thinking about the customers. Uh, really? We clean every morning? <laughs> you? Not an employee? You're very particular about it. All the staff quit because we couldn't pay their salaries. Can you hire me? Huh? I've been working in the food and beverage industry for a long time. It's a lot easier when you have male hands. Oh, um, the pay. You can start paying when you start to thrive. Is that so? Then please! So I started working at Eda Restaurant from the next day. I messaged my mother. I found a job and a nice girl at the same time. One month later, beer and stir-fried vegetables coming right up! Anchan, you're in high spirits as always. Akine, you found a nice guy. Please stop, you're right. Tomasan is kind and a nice person, but... But in honor of Akine, the beautiful waitress, will you have the stir-fried vegetables? How about eating ten more plates? Hey, what are you sitting for, Tomasan? It's work! I got scolded. I'll go polish some glass. Akine-san really cares about her customers and doesn't compromise in any way. As a colleague, I can learn from her attitude, and she's my ideal woman. But you really don't have any customers. The weather, you know. 
You see? Ah, yeah. It looks like it's going to rain. There was a 0% chance of precipitation. Oh, you're so bad at consoling. The customer traffic at Eater Restaurant is quite severe. This uncle was the fourth customer today, even though the restaurant is already closed. Uh. Oh dear, you're down again. Akine-san, your smile and nice body are our sales point. We don't sell that. Then our selling point would be beer. Uh, oh, what is that? I found some potatoes that were about to sprout, and some dried out carrots. Uh, huh? It looks pretty good. But I've been training for two years. I won't lose to Toma-san. It's so good! Amazing! What is this? I haven't held a knife in a while. I somehow recognize Toma-san like that. Whoa! Toma-san! You're that Toma-san! The creative Japanese cuisine chef who was featured in that magazine and such! You noticed? Although, it's not like I was hiding it. You got flamed for throwing salt with your funny face. Sai Baba! I was hiding that part. I've been exposed. Toma-san, please cook for me. No. Good. Now we can get the restaurant back on track. Why? Akini-san, this is your and your father's restaurant. I don't think it's right for me to step in, but... How come? I can give you some advice, though. What? Really? Even without a pay? You're letting me live on the second floor of your store. But I get to train with a super chef for free! How can you be so kind? Maybe because I like you, Akine-san. What? Alright. I'll train you hard from tomorrow after the restaurant closes. Akine has sufficient basic skills in cutting ingredients, grilling, boiling, and frying. However, she was self-taught, so her seasoning is not good. Within two months, the meat and potatoes with Akine's mark were ready. Two months later, Akine-san! Four meat and potato set meals, and seven meat and potatoes by itself! I'll get the beer! Yes, please wait. Whoa, we got a lot of customers. It's the best meat and potatoes. It's very popular in the women's club. Thank you very much. <laughs> Eda restaurants started to get on track as the number of customers gradually increased. Come on, Tomasan. Let's have some beer. You're in a good mood. My father saw the reputation on social media, too. He's so excited to get out of the hospital soon. Oh, I called him, too. I heard he's feeling much better. Why are you in touch with my father? About a month ago, I answered the landline at the store, and it was your father. I'm in touch with him three times a week now. You're getting along. He asked me to look after his daughter. <laughs> uh, well, I may or may not have wished to have a husband like that. What? Can I be his son-in-law? He looks so happy. Oh, no. I will tell you the rest of the story when the store is more prosperous. The next week, he came to the store even though he wasn't invited. Please don't come out, Toma-san. I have the salt ready. No. I told Akine-san that the shady customer was the influencer in question. If I come out, it might cause some problems. So I'm going to take over the kitchen and see what's going on. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, but the food is just average. I heard it had a good reputation. I'm sorry, but I really recommend our meat and potatoes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you're right, that's good. But this meat and potatoes, it's poorly done. It's kind of... westernized. It's not Japanese food. Surprisingly, he's got a decent palate, that one. I feel sorry for the customers, too. They've never had real Japanese food. <laughs> You're really causing a nuisance. And... My very precious meat and potatoes! I don't want your money. Please, go home. Toma, salt. Huh. Three days later, Eda Restaurant became famous on social media for... It's beautiful waitress sprinkling salt on a customer. And the restaurant lost customers. We got criticism, like... My mother's cooking is better, except for the meat and potatoes. What are you doing, Akine-san? Because he was being awful to the meat and potatoes you taught me. What? You got mad at that? Uh, of course. Also for being a nuisance to the other customers. But T Toma-san's meat and potatoes are my treasure. 
You owe money from the bank, don't you? Uh, what? N no, I don't. I'm on the phone with your father five times a week. I heard. You two are getting along better than before. Yes, I do. Oh, but worst case, I could do some nightlife jobs. See, I'm pretty, so... Ouch! Why? Because of our store? I like this store and you, Akine-san. Uh, oh, um... Let's try our best. For the future with you. If it goes well, please, let me sleep on your lap. I'm temporarily in charge of cooking the standard menu. Eventually, Akine-san will master the whole thing. It's a safe decision for the history of Ida Restaurant, too, as it's an advanced loan of technology. The next day, I will change all the suppliers. Yes. What? You're going to change it into a high-end food? No. I'll use my contacts from when I was running the restaurant to buy scraps and substandard vegetables directly from the farmers at a low price. The same goes for meat and eggs. What? Is that going to be okay? Even the meat and potatoes taste good, even though they're vegetables bought at the local grocery store. Don't they? You're right. And all items will be offered at half price for the next month. I see. Won't it speed up the process of going out of business? We're in the middle of a huge firestorm right now. That's why we're offering half price on all items. Um, isn't that just throwing more fuel on the fire? More onlookers. I went to a bad restaurant that was about to go under, and so on. I'll quietly spread the news to YouTubers who make videos on things like that. From there, <laughs> we'll shut them up with the taste. Thomas-san has a smug look. Akine-san, please, serve the customers. I'd pay money for that beautiful, cute smile alone if it were me. What? Do you think it'll go that well? The operation started the following week. It started the moment the food arrived. Can I take your order? Oh, I'll pour you some more water. Welcome. Um, can I take a video? Yes, go ahead. Within three months, results came in. Promotion videos increased, saying, Good food at a very low price! And more customers came. When's the next service day? I want to make a video announcement. Next week, Wednesday. It'll be half price. After the half price period was over, we made irregular service days. Everyone wants to eat cheap and tasty food. And here we are at the decisive moment. Hello! Today we'll be broadcasting live from the trending restaurant. They let people take videos since they're desperate. First, the stir-fried vegetables. What? Oh, it's no good. Not at all. Especially these meat and potatoes. They're insulting Japanese food. Let me ask you. What is proper Japanese food? Meat and potatoes have their roots in Western food. Food culture is always changing with new innovations. Has your time stood still? Shut up, old man! Shut up! Wait, isn't that Yuzan Sensei? He's a real food reviewer! Time to take a video! Please, share your knowledge with me as well. Hello, I'm Yuzan. Today I'm broadcasting live from a popular restaurant. It seems that the young man next to me is some kind of foodie, so I'd like to hear what he has to say. What are you taking a video for, old geezer? Yeah. You. <laughs> Please leave. It'll be a nuisance to other customers. No need to pay for the food. Here are the souvenir meat and potatoes. Shut up! I'll never come here again! The young man says he doesn't want it, so I'll take the meat and potatoes. Let's see. Bon appetit! Ah, oh, this is delicious! This is amazing! Akine, salt! Yes. The scary uncle seemed to be a real elite foodie. And this live stream got so many views that Eda Restaurant became so popular to the point where we couldn't handle the extra staff. One night... Thomas-san, cheer up! Ah, uh, this is the second time it's trending. The photo of me making a funny face. Everyone calling me that chef who sprinkles salt. Look, look! It's a lap pillow. Your reward. I tried my best to wear a miniskirt. Then... can I turn the other way? Oh, you can't do that. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to my parents' house. What are you talking about? You're going to be my husband, Toma-san. But Akine-san, you learned all the dishes I taught you, right? I worked very hard, but... 
there are still some things I haven't learned. Please teach me more about you. I'll memorize everything. Ah, uh, now that's stung. You know I like you, Akine-san. That's not fair. We have to make an heir, too. <laughs> um, will you cook for me, too? Uh, what are you talking about, Akine-san? Uh, it took me a month to come up with that punchline. Stupid. I'll cook for you, then. Get prepared. The path of food is really deep. I've been cooking all my life. But it looks like I'm going to be cooked from now on, too.